Let me tell you a little story that you might like to know about a biologist. He made a lot of dough. He perfected a technique to copy DNA. He patents it and lives in a mansion today. His name is Carrie Mullis. He's a PhD, a regular Joe, just like you and me, except he figured out how to go real far. He's the inventor of a technique called PCR, polymerase chain reaction. It's a fancy name for the way things happen when you take a double strand of Copy, copy, copy it exponentially. It's medicine, but what you must pontificate on the mechanism by which DNA replicates. And therefore, a review of its structures necessary. The double helix more beautiful the Halle Berry. 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 You can isolate naked DNA in a tube. Anyone can do it. It's not hard to do. Take advantage of its physical properties. Hydrogen bonds between the strands in the backbone we covalently. Each strand is made of three smaller parts. A sugar, the backbone, a choice of nucleotides. And the sugar phosphate is the skeleton of the molecule. The nucleotides are the bearers of its goodwill. Because it is the A, C, T, and G that will base put in a man a complementary. The hydrogen bonds between A and T, C, and G is the basis of the helix and which gives us an entry. Because we will melt the molecules with heat. Count of free nucleotides we include in a heap to line up correctly with the counterpart on a strand. This will form the basis of our copying plan. As we heat the DNA, hydrogen bonds separate, cool it down, and they reform piece of cake. But if we put a primer into our reaction mix, when the DNA cools, the primers will affix themselves to the DNA at their hydrogen bonded places, acting to start catalysis of polymerases because the hydrogen bonding of nucleotides. With each new copy templates the other side. So every heating cycle yields a copy of each strand. Then double, double, double geometrically expand. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 122, 56, 5, 1, 2. With 30 cycles, you can make 1 billion copies. This is the reason why Carrie Moss is called Pop. Pop. Oh, baby, you. Double stranded DNA. Your helix I will cleave If I give you enough heat Oh baby you Single stranded DNA With heat activated enzyme I catalyze from 5 to 3 prime This sort of probing can let you take The smallest of the smallest sample of DNA With PCR and a few cells You can begin to look inside that human gene On that beautiful book of life it is living and I would be fibbing to tell you to society it doesn't give back it is giving everyday PCR is used in math hospitals researchers it helps in their task and every time they use it because it is licensed it gives a little money to our man yet yeah, to him a graduate student turned millionaire using his nuggets he's got a flair in his Ferrari now you be sorry that you didn't study your biology